Today I'm going to show you my morning routine that lets me get second day hair on my TWA and how I refresh my defined curls and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. Welcome to kright.com where we talk fashion, lifestyle, and beauty for grown women. I did my big chop four months ago and since then I have worn my hair exclusively in wash and go styles like this one. I used to redo my wash and goes from beginning to end every single day. But now that my hair has thickened up a little bit and I have more hair and more length, that's just not practical. Now I redo my wash and goes maybe two times a week from beginning to end. And in between those two times, I just refresh my curls. The routine I'm going to show you today will work for you if your life is busy, your time is limited, and you want practical but presentable hair. The first thing you want to do is you want to re-wet your hair. I use a spray bottle to do this, but you can also run your hands underneath a stream of running water from the sink and then just run them through your hair, whichever method works best for you. The key is to just re-wet your hair, and I do wet my hair a lot. Like, it's not saturated, but it is very wet. It's more than damp. The reason you want to re-wet your hair is because the water will actually reactivate the gel. This will allow you to manipulate your hair once it's soft, and that'll prevent damage and breaking that would happen if you tried to manipulate your hair while it was still set in the curly style. The next thing you want to do is you want to add a leave-in and an oil. I prefer a creamy leave-in now that my hair has grown out a little bit. It just works better for me. I take a small amount, I rub it between both hands, and I just apply that all over my head. Once I'm done with the leave-in, I take about a dime-sized amount of oil. I use olive oil. You can use the oil of your choice. I do the same thing, rub it between both hands, and then I just apply the oil all over my hair the same way. You want to do this because the leave-in is going to help you maintain moisture and prevent dryness while the oil is going to add to the shine factor and it's also going to help with that gel cast once your hair is dry. At this point I go in and I add more gel if it's needed. You'll be able to tell if you need to add more gel or not. I start at the nape of my neck and I use raking motions with my finger in small square sections and I go from ear to ear and I do that all over my head. It's during this step where you'll be able to tell whether or not you need to add more gel. If you're raking through and the curls aren't clumping, then you probably want to go in and add a little more gel. But if you're raking through and your curls are clumping, then you probably already have enough gel left from when you originally set the style. The reason for this step is this is what's going to re-clump your curls. When you originally set the style, you clump the curls together. When you re-wet it, you moisturize your hair again and you go back through with that same motion now that the hair is damp and soft. You are re-clumping your curls all over again. And actually, in my opinion, the curls look better the second day because they're more clumped together. I've seen people go through and define each curl. Me personally, I like the rake method. You guys can let me know in the comments. Are you team rake or team twirl? Do you go through and define each curl or do you just use clumps like I do? The last thing I do is I go in and I reset my edges. I go in with a rat tail comb. I make sure my edges are moist and I add a little bit of gel if I need to. I go in with my rat tail comb and I just twirl and swirl and I just make my edges <laughs> the way I like my edges to be set because we all know edges are everything. This should take you no more than 10 minutes. It takes me less than 10 minutes when I do it in the morning and my hair is usually completely dry and any cast or white film is gone within an hour, maybe an hour and a half if there's no sun. Watch the video I'm going to link up here for you. It's how to get super defined curls on a TWA. That method is totally different from this one, so you may want to check that video out if you enjoyed this one. I'll also list all the products that I used in this video down in the description box for you guys. Subscribe before you leave for weekly videos on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty that are created with the grown woman in mind. And until next time, y'all, bye!